Hey y'all, it's Kelly Tin with your eighth and final video of the, of the day. And, but this time it's not a trick tip, it's gonna be a review. I'm just cooling it down to make it last video for the last video. Um, today I'm doing an update review of my Tantian. And I was given the idea to do this, I was requested to do this by a YouTube user named ToonGuy3. Um, Alright, low Tantian, loaded Tantian, I'm not sure how long it is, I think around 39 something, um, 39 inches, 9 some, 9 or so inches wide, I'm not sure, I'm not sure of all the stats right now, um, it's longer, all you really need to know is that it's shorter than the Dervish, but wider than the, wider than the Dervish, um, it's, I got it in Flex 2. I'll do a Flex this for you at the end of the video. Um, the main difference between this thing and the Dervish, besides its length and its width, is this. These kicktails are the ones that is, is what, set it apart, what sets it apart from most of the boards. These kicktails allow you to do all the tricks that you saw me do today a lot, with a lot more ease than the uh, than on like a Dervish that doesn't have the tails. Um, the grip tape loaded, finally started using some nice black grip tape. This is nicer than regular tape. It's like a spray-on, but it's black and it lasts longer than their clear stuff. Um, the tails, they're a nice width. Like, they're nice and, like, just enough that your foot can grip it enough, grip it well. And, um, the grip tape they use, once again, you don't need that much grip tape there, even though, because it's so strong. Um, the, the, uh, they recommend using 180 trucks with 70 millimeter wheels, although I'm using, like, 75 millimeter wheels, just because I ride my trucks a little bit tight, and I've worn these down to about, like, 72 millimeters, just from slides and stuff. And... As you can see, it's drop-through mounted, and since it's a trick-oriented board, you're going to want to uh, try and grip tape, put grip tape over the uh, trucks or the base plate, so you just get better grip when you're doing certain tricks. And also, you want to put some shock pads so you don't like dent the inside of your board, uh, because it is a loaded and it's not the most durable board ever. It's a lot more durable than... There are other boards that I and like other, any of the other boards I've ridden. I haven't ridden the Banger yet, but I'm hopefully if Blue Long Lords wants to, well, we can trade nine to five for for the Banger. Um, but like it's still a really durable board, just not as durable as like most other trick oriented boards. The rails, which were the main problem of uh, other loaded boards, last. A really long time. I personally had not like done any of this. This has all been some a uh, bunch of kids. I was letting around my board and they were trying to do ghost rides, and they just land on the side every time. The um, tails themselves are extremely durable. Um, I mean, as you but you can see I've chipped away some parts of it. It's not truly a razor edge, but it's close enough. Uh, it lasts a really long time compared to most of the load boards, as I said. And you can see on the bottom, I've got some scratches from doing like slides and it r runs up against a curb. Um, that's not really a big problem. It's a, those are all like, surface deep wounds. They don't have, none of those <coughs> really affect how you ride. Also, another thing, you won't be able to see it on camera, but since I ride so hard on the board, and I, I, I just break a lot of things. I haven't broken the board yet, but I've broken the uh, heads off these axles. And as a result of that, I've got some stress fractures right where this bolt mounts up, but it's still, the hole is still there, but there's little cracks in it, but I mean, it's not affecting it at all. And they're do they are going in a little deeper than they should. Like, their the bolts are digging into the uh, deck. Um, that's about it for durability. As you can see, the graphic 
is just weaved bamboo. And some people think that the whole board is made of weaved bamboo, but it's not. It's just plied like regular. But this bottom layer is the only part that's weaved. Um, they and the weaving does it is just aesthetic. Aesthetic. It doesn't really affect how the uh, board rides. Um, and as you can see, I put a sticker there. It's just to lower the resale value even more. I don't know why. But that's about that for the graphic. It's just a really nice looking graphic. Um, this board is extremely light, mainly because it's made of bamboo. And it's like, in what that's really good for tricks. And that paired with these tails makes it like just the optimum long board for tricks. The best you can get, I say. Other than a, uh, there's some skateboard. Um, some people like.